Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your printed circuit board and hardware design process with just one simple tool. This one tool will allow you to check for signal integrity, design for manufacturing issues, thermal issues, all in one simple package. So you don't have to worry about whether your design actually has mistakes or if it's going to cause problems for other engineers. Now you're going to find a lot of value in this video if you're working with a bunch of different software to try and verify your printed circuit board design will actually work. To check if a design actually works, the normal process has become using multiple software that are typically pretty expensive. Uh, in addition to the printed circuit board design software you're already using to check for design for manufacturing, signal integrity, and all of these other things with the PCB. So there was one week I was busy with work and everything, and I was just walking around thinking about how I could improve my design process because I felt like I was going slowly. Then one afternoon I was scrolling through my phone and I came across an interesting article. It was about this device that was created in 1890 that combined multiple tools into one and then you could flip it, fold it, all that stuff, and it conveniently fit into one pocket. And eventually it had a bunch of different names and some modifications to it, but eventually it became popularly known as the Swiss Army Knife. And, that, you know, what's crazy is that a lot of people, you know, even if they don't have one on them or if they've never owned a Swiss Army knife, they will know what a Swiss Army knife is. And then it made me think, if so many people would agree that using a Swiss Army knife is good for the job instead of carrying all these other tools around, then as engineers for our hardware design validation, why don't we do the same? So then I did a little bit of research and realized that there actually are engineers who are doing the Swiss Army Knife equivalent of hardware design validation software. They work at Intel, Samsung, and what they use is Altair Polix. Now these Swiss Army Knife engineers don't have to pay for and learn multiple different software tools to validate their hardware designs. They can just use Alter Polex to make their lives a lot easier. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how Alter Polex is that Swiss Army knife for hardware validation and how it can do signal integrity, uh, some power integrity analysis designed for manufacturing and options for thermal analysis as well. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to check definitely is the design for manufacturing. Design for manufacturing is all about your board. So you have options for uh, your components, how close they are to each other. Also designed for fabrication. So that's why you got to check your drill size, copper pads, and any patterns there are on the design. And placement is more of the design for assembly. And then of course, we can't forget tooling and test points. Tooling and test points go in a bit into design for cost and fabrication as well. Next, what's really cool with Altair Polix for Altium is that you can um, interact with the, the different devices on the printed circuit board. You can't do that in other third-party software. All right, so this is really nice, and it really takes you to the offending part quickly. The next step is design for electrical. Why design for electrical? Why is that separate? It's because our design for manufacturing decisions, like how much copper pour we have on the board and all this, can affect our differential pair um performance our power performance the emi performance the high speed performance of the design and so the thing is for the most part we want to meet all of our manufacturing requirements but sometimes well actually a lot of times in every decision that we make for design for fabrication assembly the mechanical affects the electrical so we want to make sure that our mechanical decisions are not affecting our electrical performance the next step is to check signal integrity. To check signal integrity, you need to look at materials that you can activate those in Altair Polex, add any materials you want, like from the manufacturer. Then the next step is to put those materials into your layer stack up, adjust and modify your layer stack. You can do that in Altair Polex. And I really like this because this will show you how this affects the impedance. The, the affected impedance on the PCB stack up will affect 
the signal propagation. Next, you would check and modify the parts. And then you can even add IBIS models after the fact. So let's say you didn't do it in Altium. You can add IBIS models in Alter Pollux. These IBIS models are important for your signal integrity checks. Then after you do all that, you want to do a signal integrity analysis on these parts that have the IBIS models. So here we have a waveform, right? So this shows the amount of crosstalk that would be on the signal line, the uh, grasser trace and the victim trace, and then you would check an eye diagram for any transmitters and receivers. What this does is that checking the eye diagram allows you to see the performance of signal transmission and reception over a wide range of frequencies. See how we select here in the U12, okay. And the next thing is you want to check the eye mask to really look at and assess a number of things about the quality of your signal over these wide frequencies. Altair Pollux does all of these. Okay, so make sure you check, especially for high speed digital designs, your signal integrity analysis with Altair Pollux. All right, so the last step it would be a thermal analysis. You already checked your design for manufacturing, your design for electrical, your signal integrity and whatnot, but what about thermals? Okay, that's going to affect the part placement for the board as well. Here you can see that we're in the component menu again in Altair Pollux where we would assign the appropriate thermal models for our components as seen in the column for thermal. And then what you would do is check your boundary conditions, check how your entire board is set up. All right. So your constraints would be like global parameters, your boundary conditions, um, how the board is oriented and also coefficients of thermal expansion. You can even add a heat sink on there in the full version. Then you would run your actual thermal analysis. The thing about the thermal analysis is that I don't typically find thermal analysis tools in any PCB design software, at least not embedded. So my question is, you know, do you want to be doing all of these analyses in separate software tools that are usually pretty expensive? Or do you want to be the person who actually takes advantage of this opportunity by making your workflow a lot smoother, like engineers at Intel and Samsung? Who don't have to worry about ever leaving Altium or Polex PCB. If so, click the link below and test the Altair Polex free trial extension for Altium Designer today to save yourself some more time in each of your future design verification processes. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.